Touchdown, an American astronaut returns to Earth from the space station after a record-breaking 355 days in space. Wow. We are joined now by Sherman Chow. And Sherman, there were fears he could get left in space by Russia? There was a testy tweet from Russia on this, but NASA officials believe that the space programs are above global conflicts. Touchdown. The Russian Soyuz capsule landed in Kazakhstan. There is the smiling American astronaut Mark Vandehei, along with two Russian cosmonauts. Is that my hat? Vandehei spent 355 days at the International Space Station, longer than any other American in a single mission. He returns to an altered political landscape, with Russia now at war in Ukraine, but up in space. Station, this is Houston. Crews float above the hostility. Are they aware of what's going on on Earth? Absolutely. Uh, but the teams are professional. We have ignition and liftoff. For two decades and counting, Russians and Americans have lived and worked together in space. NASA's administrator expects that partnership to continue. We have our problems with President Putin on Earth. If they abandon the space station, mm -hmm. uh, we'd manage. We'd figure it out. But uh, we don't anticipate that. It's survived all these years. It's not going to stop now. But just last month, the head of Russia's space agency implied that Russians might abandon ship. He demanded ISS partner nations lift their sanctions, tweeting, who will save the ISS from an uncontrolled deorbit and fall into the United States or Europe? And obviously Russia did not pull out and gave Vandehei a lift home back to Earth on board the Russian Soyuz spacecraft. Vandehei should be back at the Johnson Space Center sometime mm -hmm. tomorrow morning. Uh, great news. Yeah, yeah, that is good news. Glad that politics uh, don't take precedence in space. Hope it stays that way. <laughs> Thank you, Sherman. Mm -hmm.